So how many presentations do you guys have? <laughs> you up? 11 billion, or at least that's what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Judy Warner. Welcome back to the final podcast in our special DesignCon pre-game series. Today I'm joined by my friends, or did I say clowns? These guys crack me up every time we end up busting up when I talk with Matt Burns and Scott McMorrow of SamTech. We talk all things DesignCon, amazing technology and innovation coming up, and you are going to be mind blown by what Scott McMorrow talks about with their recent integrations with ANSYS HFSS. Also, just so you know, Samtech recently launched a new podcast called the Samtech Transmission Line Podcast. I put the link for you in the show notes below as well as Samtech's DesignCon page. I hope to see you at DesignCon booth 645. If not, I'll see you on the other side of DesignCon. Without further ado, let's jump into our conversation with Matt Burns and Scott McMorrow of Samtech. Hi, Matt. Hi, Scott. So good to have you again. I can't wait to hear what you two guys are up to with DesignCon just around the corner. Hey, Judy. Good to be with you again. Yeah, good to be with you, Judy. It's nice to be on this uh, podcast. Thank you. Well, um, Matt, I know you've always got, you both always have so much going, but I know as you go into arguably your biggest show of the year. I know you have a lot planned, so I thought it'd be interesting for those that may be attending to hear about those things. So why don't you give us the 30,000 foot view and tell us a little bit about what you've got planned. Yeah, I would be happy to, Judy. And and we appreciate you uh, always inviting Scott and I on and the other Samtech uh, technology leaders as well on your podcast. Which, so it's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank uh, you. Design Con, yeah, Design Con this year is just a continuation of our theme uh, from the second half of 23, where we're really focused on what we're calling a new era of high-speed connectivity. Um, that's a broad-based term that covers uh, a number of technology trends that we see within data center, hyperscaler, AI ML, uh, and other you know leading applications that are driving the need for higher speeds, uh, smaller interconnects and, and increased density within a system. Uh, so, you know, when you look at, you know, from, from Samtech's perspective, Judy, uh, just to comment on that a little bit more, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, when chat GPT came out about a year, year and a half ago, that was really an inflection point, at least in my mind, uh, about how folks, uh, you know, everyday people, uh, really understood what artificial intelligence was right. And, and chat GPT is not the largest language model out there. Uh, so AI models, AI processes continue to grow. Uh, the amount of computing uh, that you need to uh, support AI continues to grow exponentially. Uh, you know, and not only are we seeing, you know, one solution, GPUs, but we're seeing competing uh, compute engines that are really driving AI's ad AI ML adoption. Uh, increasingly, we need faster data put, data throughput. Uh, data centers are continuing to grow. We're seeing uh, increased demand for optical connectivity, data center hyperscaler, even in embedded applications. Uh, what ties that all together at the system level too is also uh, fabric technology. So you know we you know we we see designs implementing PCI five uh, at the system level right now. Uh, you're starting to see uh, chips chipset designs using PCI six, 64 giga transfer per second. PCI SIG uh, has has already announced that they're going to be working on PCI 7 uh, with the release of the first first specification sometime in 20, 2025, or at least that's the plan. Uh, related to PCI Express, you know, CXL, Compute Express Logic, uh, which is to really focused on cache coherent memory, uh, driving disaggregated computing. So, so there's all these, I could go on and on in terms of what's driving innovation within the industry. But these and, other, or these and other trends are really what's driving this next era, this new era in high-speed connectivity that Samtech's uh, helping to drive uh, within, within our industry. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Uh, with design coming, with DesignCon coming up, we're going to be uh, introducing new products uh, that can support 224, uh, 224 gigabit per second uh, on the channel level uh, earlier in, in 23 we launched our SciFly HD, which is a near-chip uh, connector uh, that uses our patented flyover technology uh, to route high-speed data, you know, ASIC adjacent out to the front panel, ASIC adjacent to the back plane. Uh, you know, so we've, we've shown some really good results with, with SciFly. And then we're looking at 
uh, other solutions that that leverage the SciFly contact system, both you know with the front panel, with the back plane, uh, mezzanine style connectors. So you'll you'll be seeing more information on that uh, at DesignCon. So you know we're really excited about this new high speed, this new era of high speed connectivity, and we're really excited to uh, use DesignCon as a launch platform for uh, additional solutions that we offer uh, answering all these challenges. So how many presentations? Do you guys have queued up? <laughs> Eleven billion, or at least that's what it feels like. <laughs> so I mean, you know, we we're, we're blessed at Samtech to have some of the you know the leading uh, industry luminaries, uh, you know, such as Scott, you know, who's on the call with me, Isvan Novak, Rich Mellitz, uh, Gus Blando, and, and and many more. So I, I think we're around eleven uh, presentations, or technical papers, or workshops, or or uh, uh, you know, doing some co-development, co-presentations with some of our partners, whether that's EDA or, or test and measurement or, or, or whatnot. Um, it's hard to list all of them because there's so, so much uh, that's going on. Steve Kruzewick is another one of our specialists. He's going to give some more detail on PCI 6, PCI 7 implementation. Scott obviously is going to comment on some of the things he's, he's working on. Uh, so yeah, we're real excited about the opportunity. Uh, in addition to all the technical papers, obviously we're, we're, I think we have on the order of between 12 or 13 demonstrations, product demonstrations, technology demonstrations. Uh, nine of those are going to be in the Samtech booth. I'd like to tell you about all of them right now, Judy, but then why go to design con? So we're going to wait for the <laughs> event to, to talk about those in detail. And then and in addition, we'll have three or four demonstrations with some of our partners uh, on the uh, test and measurement side. Uh, some of the semiconductor uh, partners that we have and some of the uh, I, uh, EDA slash IP partners uh, that we have. So Design Con's always uh, is a big big event. It's it's getting harder and harder to go bigger than the year before, uh, but we continue to, to meet that call, meet the answer. In addition to the technology papers and in addition to the uh, the, the product demonstrations, uh, Samtech, I think this is the third or fourth year in a row that we're the sponsor for the uh, opening reception. Uh, so we're, we all, we're always excited about that. I think we had something like five or 600 people attend that, uh, last year. So it's, it's a, it's a good time not only to enjoy some good food and a nice libation, uh, but it's also a, a nice time to reconnect with old friends, reconnect with, uh, your colleagues. Uh, and, and really it, I think it sets a nice, uh, foundation for the week that is, is designed. Um, I could talk more and more, but you know Scott obviously is the star of this podcast, so I'm going to turn it over to him because he, Scott. In all seriousness, we're we're really excited about some of the things that that, that Scott's uh, is is launching. And and before I take any more of his thunder, I'll give it to him. Okay, let her rip, Scott. What do you get up your sleeve this time of year? Well, thanks, Matt and Judy. Well, the first thing I've got to I've got to tell people the main reason to come to the Design Con is to come to the Samtech booth and get a free tiger for your children. That is the highlight of, of DesignCon for many, many people. Um, well, before, you know, I want to add on to that pitch. It's not just a little stuffed tiger. You can adopt a real tiger that are endangered, right? Exactly. And so it is the coolest thing. I got two of those little tigers, and I gave one to a friend, and I adopted one. So there's a good sort of social if you're an animal lover there's a good social purpose oh exactly it. and there you have one wonderful yeah i can't have one my little dog would uh tear it to shreds <laughs> uh, so, so uh, this year at design con we're you know as part of this transition into even higher speed connectivity um i've got a couple of initiatives uh, first i just want to you know one of the foundations that i've been working on is um we're in the process of finalizing our production uh, design on our iSpeed Air cable. And that's the cable that's going to be going into uh, these next generation SciFly HD connectors. It is the highest performance inbox cable in the world. It is co-extruded. It is near zero skew. It is flexible. Its performance doesn't change. And that's a huge emphasis for Samtech at this uh at this design con is the fact that not only do we have cable, there are uh, cable connectors and flyover systems. Um, we have highly stable, highly repeatable, reliable cables. Um, and that is different than a lot of people in the industry. Um, 
if you move our cable, it doesn't change. If you bend our cable, the signal performance doesn't change. So that's really important. And I'm really proud of what our uh, our Wilsonville cable plant has done and the, all the engineers involved that I've been involved with on that. Um, on the other side, i am been involved in usability uh, uh, or uh, designability. Uh, what we're finding as we go faster and faster, it becomes harder and harder to design things. And the most important thing to design in a printed circuit board when working with packages and connectors is the printed circuit board launch. Uh, that is the area where you take the signals from the connector or from the package and essentially uh, transition it into traces in the printed circuit board. Uh -huh. um, and I developed a tutorial that's two and a half hours long. It's in conjunction with ANSYS. Um, and we're using an ANSYS tool, ANSYS high, uh, HMSS 3D layout, which is a high performance planar tool that allows us to do uh, three-dimensional simulations of boards, vias, packages, and things like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach an entire methodology that demystifies the design of vias, demystifies the way that we build them, the way that we control them, um, and gives you basically step-by-step -step instructions on how to design and optimize them uh, yourselves. But wow. wait, wait, there's more. I built Python scripts that use the ANSYS software to automatically generate them. So I automatically generate them um, in various different configurations for specific SAMTEC connectors, also for a few things like one millimeter pitch VGAs that are ubiquitous in the industry. Everybody needs that. It will handle from four layer designs to 42 layer designs. Um, it's programmable. Everything is documented. Every every feature that's used for tuning is um, is named with meaningful na naming conventions with meaningful documentation. There are even some EDA kind of or fabrication um, design rules, like what the annular the annulus around a via pad is, what the annulus is around an anti pad is required, what minimum via to via spacings are. And by doing this, we're taking the SI engineer from um, basically somebody that designs something that's really hard to design um, and can t literally take weeks to just construct the three-dimensional model that takes minutes. Wow. So we create it for them, and then you can now, uh, and then you'll, they'll now be able to actually use it, manipulate it, simulate it. Um, and modify it. Then, since transitions don't uh, aren't uh, there by themselves, they don't exist singularly. There are many of them. If I've got a hundred differential pairs on a board, I have a hundred separate transitions. I have a connector that can have, say, seventy-two different differential pairs on it and pins. So the software also creates arrays of the launches. And we have a method to control that array, control the way that the vias are placed, uh, whether they're via in pan or dog bone breakouts or angled breakouts, and the distances and the directions, so that you can now go in and visualize where the routing room is. It's the hardest thing that people that and that signal integrities engineers have uh, have to do is is. Um, is visualizing how their design is going to impact routing. And so many good SI designs get thrown back by the layout department with the comment, we can't build this, we can't route this. So the idea is to be able to see it, visualize it, route it. Once you've done this, it's very simple to shoot DXF files for each layer involved. It's very simple to document the entire thing. Plus, for customers of ours with our connectors, we can co-design with them. If the customer does not have the simulation bandwidth to do the numbers of simulations required for an optimization, they can at least set, help us set up the design. And we can share parameter files, simple parameter file back and forth. 
They tell us which connector we want to use, what the per, what uh, what configuration they've decided looks like it's going to work better. Once we have once we've uh, settled on that, we can import their uh, stack up into and their materials into the design and complete the optimization and complete all the simulations. What that means for us as a company is we don't have to design every launch for every connector, for every customer's layers that 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 buy our products. Uh, we do hundreds. We probably do a thousand designs a year in our organization. Um, and they're all a little bit different. So what we're doing is unifying the nomenclature. As my father used to say, if you know the nomenclature, then you know a thing. It's it's in the names that it's the names that are important important and they have uh, and they have power. So by naming it, we drive the uh, we drive the market, we drive the knowledge base in the industry, um, and we establish we help our customers. We hope everybody uses Samtech products, but at least the methodology is something that anybody can use. Um, they just would have to use it on their own connectors in their own ways. But for us. We can literally design these transitions in one day when it used to take weeks, if not months, to do all of the what ifs and the building and the making mistakes and having to rebuild it. It's all done. It's all within the tool. So it showcases our products. It showcases our superior engineering capability um, and design and understanding of these high performance design. And we're also showcasing the ANSYS product, which integrates HMSS into a 3D tool and shows the capacity of that to tool for doing uh, extremely complex design. So I'm really excited about it. I've been teaching this methodology for a year and a half. And finally, I broke down and uh, we talked about, you know, chat GPT being the big driver. Well, chat GPT is how I learned to program in Python. I did Absolutely. not know- Absolutely. Six months ago, I did not know Python, and I finally realized this stuff is so complex, I need to create a script to drive it. And um, between ChatGPT and Google Bard, uh, they are my friends. Um, I heard and they the engineer I talked to. I'm so sorry, Scott. No, Go yeah, ahead. absolutely. So they've helped you. They've helped you. Absolutely, absolutely. I would not have known half of the Python commands that I use uh, without asking questions, querying, and then uh, badgering the tool, you know, badgering the software to give me the right answer. You yeah, do have to be I, discerning with them. Um, yes, but, and I I have engineering buddies like that do, you know, engineer every day, all day. <clears throat> and um, some of them are, are kind of content creators like me. And they say the number one thing they love and use ChatGPT for is code. And over the last year or so, they've been kicking those tires to make sure it's right. And it's right. And it's really accurate. And they're like, yeah. this is saving us so much time. And so you're really echoing what I kind of hear anecdotally across the industry. It is. You know, I could have I could have bought a few Python books, gone to a bunch of websites, but finding the the function, the particular function, the particular feature that I want would have just taken most of my time. And I wouldn't have found all the good ones because I would generally settle on, okay, this works. I'll work around all my issues. But, you know, using AI and, uh, of course, we're driving a lot of the AI tools with our inter interconnect. So it's it's just a wonderful synergy to be able to do this. Um, then the other thing I'm doing at, um, at DesignCon is I'm on a panel discussion uh, with... Um, uh, a number of people from the industry, uh, Kathy Liu, uh, uh, Al Nebs, uh, Todd Westerhoff, um, on extreme confidence simulation for 400 and 800 gig signaling. So stepping back to uh, 112, you know, that slow 112 gigabit per second uh, design and talking about what you need to do to get it right, get it right all the time. Um, we take advantage of it at Samtech all the time because we correlate our simulation environment and our measurement environment together to our design practices. But so many people haven't yet, and so there's a lot of lessons to be learned from 
so some other luminaries in the industry. That really Judy, is an was, all-star crew. Go ahead, yep. Matt. Sorry, I, I was just thinking how meta this conversation is. Scott's learned, no, serious, right? Scott's learned Python scripting up chat GPT to ease design of SAMTEP connectors that go into AI hardware that power chat GPT or, or Google Bard. Right? Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's a virtuous circle of life. Um, two things before I let you guys go. Um, I wanted to go back to one. I think this is so exciting, Scott, what you're doing with ANSYS. I had uh, Giuliano Milani on the podcast a while ago, and I found I have Giuliano on because I just geek out over his 3D eye candy puts on LinkedIn all the time. And it's like because it HFSS or, you know, their differential are so visual. It's like, oh, that's how it works. And to your point about vias, yeah, if you're going to do a 42-layer circuit board with buried and blind vias, and there's via stubs, and there's diff pairs, and it's, it's like, to do that as a human being, you know, a signal integrity engineer, or a layout with one mil pitch, and it's just, to me, I am just have nothing but compassions for today's engineers, but I'm really encouraged that companies like ANSYS and SAMTIC are working together. And and I see all teams doing that. I see Keysight doing that. I think this trend towards these um, integrated partnerships is going to be really big in this next year. And I love hearing it. Oh, absolutely. I am I will, the next thing that I have to do on my plate is to take the software I've written, give it to Giuliano and have him take him through the process because he can do all he could do hundreds of different kinds of visualizations based on uh the, the parameterization that i have because he loves to do that well i've given him the I platform know. that all he has to do is perform the visualizations he hasn't he doesn't have to set everything up to do them and um and i think you're right we are um we're a huge village and for so many years, we've treated every company is very has always been very parochial in terms of you know this is my domain um, and but not yours. So we do connectors. Keysight does in in Rod Rod and Schwartz do instruments. And, yes. Yeah, and we're starting to break we're, we're breaking down those boundaries in a lot of the stuff. I mean the papers. In the work that Brandon Gore and uh, Rich Mellitz have done with Keysight on measurement technology using our connectors um, has been uh, is fantastic. And that's going to be a wonderful paper to to um, at DesignCon that's going to be present presented by Brandon. So there, there's a lot, and we we look for more and more of those um, uh, sharing sessions with our with our partners like that. Um, we w I would rather that and share it uh, and and basically teach everybody how to fish uh, rather right? than keeping it because uh, the industry is just moving too fast uh, and it's uh, it's easy and you know at Samtech we you know we've we've got a um, a soft spot for the little guy we uh, we have a huge number of uh, of uh, of customers that uh, there may be only one or two electrical engineers in the company but they may be the next, uh, you know, big thing in the industry. So we love working with them and helping them and teaching them. Well, and they so often get overlooked, right? And and because we were like, yes, we were all in our little silos and zero sum game. I think of what is that exactly. awful little creature's name from? Oh, Lord Gollum. of the Rings, Gollum. Yeah, I feel like we were doing that for too long. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. And so I, anyways, is good. Chat. What were you going to say, Matt? Sorry. I just, no, I, I, I just wanted to add one more point to what Scott said. And I apologize that you were going down a tangent with Lord of the Rings and I pulled you back to the real world. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this always Lord of the happens Rings is more when fun. we get together. I, I know. It's just, I don't know why. Like, you know, th this, this, this need or this sense of collaboration is, it's necessary. Um, you know, Scott's been doing some of the things he's been doing for, decades um and he needs help from no no offense god i mean you're really good at what you do but we all need help right 
and this we've got this great partnership with 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 uh, Ansys with the work that we're doing uh, for Via Design and and some of the three DSI models that we're doing. And, and you know what? From Samtech's perspective, I, I, you know, I guess two large trends: customers are demanding it, right? Customers don't want to come to Samtech and say, "I need a connector." They come to Samtech and say, "Fix my channel," right? Uh-huh. And if we're going to fix the channel, that's working with the test and measurement uh, companies. That's working with the semiconductor companies. That's working with the EDA, EDA companies. That's working with the laminate vendors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, with speed getting so much faster, we really need that village that Scott mentioned. So. Um, not only at the customer level, I think in standard, I think standards is another area where we're starting to see a tremendous Huge. amount of collaboration, especially 224. There's, you know, there's whispers of 448, which we can save for another, for another, uh, topic. But if you don't have the collaboration and if you don't have the partners, no one company is going to be successful, right? The big hyperscaler companies, the big, the big Silicon Valley companies, they depend on their partners. Even the, you know, I like how Scott mentioned and, and he, we should mention, we should Blair this from the mountaintops. Samtech does try to fight for the little guy. The little guy needs the same the same resources just as, as much as the, the hyperscalers do. So the more we can collaborate, the yeah, the more we can collaborate, the more we can come up with these these uh, in, in, innovative solutions. The easier it is for the for the ecosystem. That's what we need. I think is an ecosystem. I'm just saying, with the double and E on the no front. pun intended, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you so can send me a $50 check it. for that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough about you. Let me talk about me. No, I, um, but I truly did name this the ecosystem because I've held that belief for so long. I could just never sell it because, you know, working for different individual companies who have very real goals to meet and products to sell, investors to deal, and customers' problems to solve. But I've always believed that it is not a zero sum game. And Matt, you taught me that the speeds are just too dang fast. So now we're being forced into it. However, I always thought it was a role. And when people do it, I've seen the outcomes even in a more analog way. So to see this new era of high-speed connectivity, right, um, and being done in a, you know, our, our electronics village, I think so, so exciting. Well, you guys have got me even more excited about design con than I was. So thank you for that. Um, where should I point folks to go find out more about what you're doing? Do you guys have a design con page up? We do. Uh, th- it's very simple. Samtech.com slash design con. And that provides okay. all the details on Scott and our additional presentations, our demos and our partnerships. Okay, great. Well, I'll make sure and send folks over there for our listeners. Make sure you go check out the show notes. I'll put those links for you. And if you haven't yet registered for DesignCon, or if you're a latecomer, you can use um, the ecosystems promo code ECCO for 15% off. So you can go see Matt and Scott and the whole the whole uh, group from Samtech. So you guys, thank you so much for coming on. It's always a blast. And I always learn so much from you. Thank you for all you're doing and thank you for your time. Well, thank, thank you so much, Judy. To our audience, we will see you at DesignCon. We'll be dark that week, so um, we'll miss you that week. So um, if you're there, come see me at booth 645. Matt, what booth are you guys in? The big one right in the middle. Okay, you I'm actually right down the hall. Come through the front doors, we're right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> and then I'm I'm in the back of that aisle in the little corner, but I am on along that same aisle. So yeah, for our listeners who are coming, please come see all, all of us. There is Sam Tech. Otherwise, we'll see you next week when we're live the week after DesignCon. Thanks for joining us today. Remember to always stay connected to the ecosystem. 